Welcome everyone to Antonio's Marketing Show. This show will help you to market and sell yourself much better. In this selling arena that we're in right now, where everyone is a salesperson, you cannot say that you are not selling yourself. You are selling yourself in your family life. You are selling yourself in the job interview. You are selling yourself in the working environment. So never, never say that you are not into selling because then after you do not even know what you are saying. So today I would like to share a short snippet story how I got into sales. How did Antonio Prescott got into sales is essentially where my deceased father friend Yes, my father deceased when I was some months old, so I didn't get to know him. It was an unfortunate circumstance. However, my mom raised me and she is my mom and my daddy in one. Right. So back to the story. So my deceased father friend said, Antonio, this lady is selling a vehicle, a Nissan Beetle vehicle, red in color, for a very reasonable price. So I was like, okay, this sounds very interesting. So he told me, let's go and see this vehicle. Went and saw this vehicle in good condition, the body of it, and also the engine of the vehicle. What was wrong is that the vehicle was very old and where it was parked, it got a lot of rust on the body of the vehicle. So the vehicle needed to paint. The lady said, give me an offer. I said, no, you tell me what is your price. She said, $6,000, which equivalates to approximately $950 USD. I was like, okay, cool. That price sounds very well. And she was like, serious? I said, yes. Next day, keep back with the money, bought the vehicle, drive home with the vehicle. And to my surprise, I was able to get that vehicle painted at a very reasonable course. And when that had finished, I decided, I think I should sell this vehicle and make a profit. So I put a marker price of 23000 for this said vehicle. And to my surprise, a guy from Republic Bank, to be specific, called me and told me, Antonio, I won that vehicle because my girlfriend, she is at home and she needs something to do. So the reason for purchasing the vehicle is for her to give her cousin it so that her cousin could work the vehicle and that money would be her own. So the guy came, he brought a manager's check took the vehicle and drove off. My friends, I made a hundred percent profit. A hundred percent profit. From then, at age 18, I was like, sales is my career passion. Oh, how I love sales. And after that, I started to sell, sell many different things. Sell women clothes, I will sell computers, I will sell phones, I will sell anything that I can make a profit. And I must say that sales brought me to understand how people think psychologically and also it brought me into a position to help people and also earn a profit for myself. So when I think about sales, I don't want to hear no one bad talk in sales and say that sales is not a good profession and sales people are the worst and that they had a bad experience. Everyone had a bad experience with some salesperson back then. However, you can class your last experience with a salesperson who might be new coming to you and think you will get the same treatment. That is not nice at all. So going a bit further now, I started to sell women clothes before the pandemic. And then when the pandemic came, I had to pivot. And it's there where I pivoted to offer sales coaching 
to individuals and also to the SMEs who may want to grow their business. And I must say, the experience thus far is tremendous. And anyone who is looking for a profession that will always be there, because presently, right now, it's a global retrenchment that is happening, especially in the US, where a lot of people, whether it be in tech companies, whether it be in insurance industries, everyone basically is being retrenched right now. You know, not in a mass way, but in basically in small amounts, but as almost every company is being targeted. You cannot say that your company may not be the next one or your sector in that sales arena may not be the next one so it just goes to show you that we ourselves have to develop a different mindset and that way personal brand comes in if you have a robust personal brand opportunities will always be there for you and you wouldn't have to be like oh i'm out of an opportunity um i wonder i wonder once you can sell companies want you sales is the backbone of every organization and how do you go about selling in simple terms your personal brand is marketing yourself and then after when you have a product or service in front of you based on developing your personal brand and based on developing a following from social media platforms and also in person that physical interaction that you will have with people that how you become a robust seller it's simple people it's just that you have to be genuine you have to be willing and you have to know that in sales rejection is like the rain or sun it happens from time to time once it is that you have that in your mindset and you're willing to go at it and give it your own you will be in a much much better place take my advice and please do subscribe to my youtube channel because i will be hitting you right with a lot a lot of sales and marketing tips that will benefit you so hit that subscribe button thank you